The year is 1994, and if you're a good parent, you know where your children were at this hour. Safely sit in front of their TV sets with their Super Nintendos on playing this magnificent gem of a game. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Johnny. I'm Elliot. I'm Matt. We are the Super Game Brothers, and ladies and gentlemen, it is now time to play one of my favorite games of all time, and on the Super Nintendo. And one of the finest games ever made. Metroid 3. Super Metroid. For the Super Nintendo. In case, in case you didn't know which game we were actually playing. Yeah. Now, I'm sorry we took so long to get to this, guys. Adam just had to authorize us for this one. <laughs> <laughs> we finally got the authorization. <laughs> Okay, let's do a Apparently the Metroids were such a galaxy-wide spurge that the catching the last one put the entire galaxy at peace. <laughs> we, 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 I first battled the Metroids on Planet Zeeps. It was there that I foiled the planes of the space pirate leader, Mother Brain, to use the creatures to attack galactic civilization. Dot, dot, dot. You have to say dot, dot, dot. The, computer, always dot, 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 the dot. computer voice doesn't know any better. Now, this is supposed to be a retelling of the events that happened in Metroid 1, but with the updated graphics, you would be forgiven for thinking it's a spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> I next fought the Metroids on their home world, SR-388. I completely eradicated them, except for a lava, which, after matching, followed me like a confused child. I am intentionally you forgot dot, dot, dot. Who the fuck pronounces yeah, ellipses? See, that's the thing about it, folks. You know, Samus can't speak through her helmet. She has to <laughs> utilize Microsoft Sam. So, in Metroid, yeah. Metroid 2, we committed mass genocide. By the way, I'd like to point out that this tells... I'll, tell, I'll get to that later. Personally, I delivered it to the Galactic Research sta Stallion at Ceres, so silence good. Study its energy-producing qualities. By the way, this tells a story without with so few words about the character, the world, its lore, and the background elements. By the way, I think we just gave it to Dr. Paskanovich. <laughs> Who? The scientists' findings were astounding. They discovered that the powers of the Metroid might be harnessed for the god of civilization. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the god of civilization? Boskanovich was a Tekken 3, by the way. Okay. Oh, okay. I never played Tekken 3. Satisfied that all was well, I left the... What the hell, you haven't played Tekken 3? <laughs> uh, new bounty to hunt. But I had hardly gone beyond the asteroid belt when I pickled up a distress signal. Celeste Station was under attack. <laughs> when, when you said distress, I, was, I thought you were going to say distress. <laughs> I'm here for my baby. Easy there, you're, over... You're, you're safe, you're safe, bloody Tommy. Easy there, you overachiever. By the way, uh, stealth does not mean... Just because you're invisible doesn't mean you're, you're able to be phased through because... You had 69. Well, now I'm at And that's the quality you can expect from our Let's Play City, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so folks, uh, we did Metroid 1 and Metroid 2 post. Uh, they were 100% runs. I wasn't really comfortable with playing those live because I don't play those as often as I played this one. I've played this one... To death. Yes. <laughs> so much so that we're surprised the original cartridge works. Yes. I've had this cartridge for about 15 years now. <laughs> um... <laughs> But this isn't live. This isn't post. This is live. I'm playing this right now as I'm talking. So all the fucks ups you see are real. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there is no explanation as to what happened to her powers between Metroid 2 and Metroid. Adam! And Metroid. No. <laughs> she sells it off. Yeah. <laughs> she has to play. Yeah. Hey, times are hard, man. She's a bounty hunter with no bounties. <laughs> she uh, she uh, went uh, to Han Solo, but that was already taken. What, what Han Solo went with her? She could probably kill Han Solo in the process. Oh, you... So, uh, I, w I was expecting a whole yo ho yo kind of thing with these guys. <laughs> Yar, Seth Just because of pirate. Stun. So, would your pirate name be Fat Brown Beard? <laughs> and you're borderline neck beard. You're chin beard. I'm man beard. <laughs> uh, man bear pig, yes. Man beard uh, pig! That <laughs> That was actually pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> what do we got here? Uh, the Chosen Statues come into life. What are these things? These are Chorizos. What are they? Uh, best way I can explain them is a fake Chozo Statues. Oh, great, a mimic. Hey, where did this has go? We went slide too, didn't we? It lost its head. Shit! Shit! What happened to your head? What the fuck? Your head's gone! <laughs> oh! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Dropping frames! The dropping frames are dropping head! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is this? What happened to your head? Slide! Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> One second. There we go. Okay. Thank you. 
Nice. That Very is called the mock ball. The mock uh, ball. If you, uh, it allows you to uh, go into morph ball mode while retaining your running speed. Nice. And super missiles. That would be one of my only major sequence breaks of this game. I use the mock ball to get super missiles early because you're supposed to defeat. Uh, oh damn it! I fell off. Shit, that and? wasn't supposed to happen. I gotta do it again now. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, but I'm not gonna do that. This is Spore Spawn. Our uh, Plant 42. Plant 42? Yeah. No, I'm sorry, Matt. It's not Resident Evil. <laughs> I wasn't authorized to make that reference. Ow! Yeah, so since we're, you know, we, missiles Spore are gonna be born. the best point. Yeah, Spore Spawn's. Spore Spawn. <laughs> there is an. Uh, once, the reward that we get for beating Spore Spawn is Super Missiles. Uh, since I already have them, this is kind of redundant. It's an upgrade. But there, because there's an alternate way of getting the super missiles that you can get after beating Spore Spawn, but you need super missiles in order to reach them. I like the music here. Very yeah. subtle, very menacing, regardless. And hey, there Spore it goes. Spawn is I'm going to walk kick on your corpse. <laughs> and it just hardens? It just dries out. Oh, okay. Oh, well, shit. The whole area did shit. <laughs> what have I done? One thing Ooh, dies, everything care. dies. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I really don't. Super missiles. Okay. Now, these were supposed to be our first. But I did that second quick earlier, so they're second. Heads up. Hi, Crane. Hello. Oh, you got pretty fucking big between games. I let myself go. He looks like he. If Crane was a friggin' basement dweller. <laughs> the ultimate. This is what happens when you play WoW. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> I apologize to I apologize to those who were offended that play WoW. He didn't. Oh, he opened his mop too late. <laughs> what are you aiming for? <laughs> no wonder why we lost the case. Somewhat, it sounds like Titanosaurus. And it's out. Yeah, that. Or it, just sunk in the background. <laughs> <laughs> like, like that. That was one of the examples. It kind of sounded like Titanosaurus from Godzilla. Sunk into the realms of obscurity. We're not going to be seeing Crate again for various years. Of its own melee. Up at, well, <laughs> if, you <want> count, <laughs> if you want to count other games, sure. Uh, no, but I think that was the last appearance of Kraid, unless I'm forgetting something, let me think. Because a lot of them require very dexterous very fingers. Oh, look, stink bugs. Stink hey, bombs. you're supposed to die. What's your point? <laughs> you ain't letting go, dude. There we go. What an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> it was a total asshole. Meanwhile, you just hit your head on the energy tank. Yeah, we're going through this fairly quick. It looks like it, but Johnny's actually going very slow. By speedrunner standards, he would be fucking abysmal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he would be told to kill himself. They're already, gun. they're already, they're already bad mother brain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a similar story happened to a young man in the Pacific Northwest about 20 years ago. Well, oh, the missiles. Oh, yeah, that's very iconic. What do you think? <laughs> that's all right. Eh, Super missiles are better. Too tacky. Tacky? Yes, tacky. <laughs> I get like that sometimes when I play the game. I'm like, you know, <laughs> this works more powerful, but on the other hand, I need to kick ass. And style. <laughs> this hammer looks really satisfying to use. With this staff, you will crush oh, run. my wonders. All right, so now you gotta run for your life. <laughs> oh, this is so awesome! This is, that's what you have to do when you tell when you tell and Metroid fans that Super Metroid sucked. Fuck you. Okay. There Get out of here. Nice. I think that was still. I think that was created intentionally to show off the the uh, the speed booster as an offensive tool. Yes. And Johnny just avoids the. Hey, what the hell is this thing? This is Crocomire. Crocomire. Oh. I was like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Crocomire, your goal is to knock him back. Okay. I recommend charge shots. Yeah. Charge There's shots seem to be making him real bitch. When he does that, that means he's gonna shoot some projectiles, just jump over him in the mouth. Tell this one's about. kind of ambiguous. It doesn't really seem like he's gonna fuck with you until you actually let him hit you. Well, it does roar at you at first, and then when you shoot it, it takes a step back and it's like, oh, you're a threat. <laughs> yeah, seriously. But it is an Let me do it again! I see where you're taking it. Down it goes! Whoa! That was some Castlevania shit right there. <laughs> that roar, I, I'm trying to remember whose that was. Damn, I'm drawing a blank. Alright. That is a new technique with the speed booster. That's called the Shine Spark. When you get a full charge going on, if you press the down button, Samus will hold her charge. At that point, you can press up to do a Shine Spark. Up, it's pretty much a super jump. 
And a lot of fucking good that does Gotham, doesn't it? You mean Arkham? They're not evil. Matt just misunderstood. No, Gotham, <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's try that again. I wonder if after I take a fuckload of Excedrin. <laughs> Excedrin. The Adrenaline, Excedrin. motherfucker! There you go, that should be enough. Does it take health whenever you do it? Shine sparking in this game does drain health. You can't kill yourself doing it, though. Uh, if your health drops below 29 when in the middle of a shine spark, Samus will automatically cancel it out. So what are you doing? Oh! Uh, you're missiles. supposed to use the grappling beam that I just got here, but you can also use a wall jump. Once I get a good running start. Hold on a second. You need to get a running start exactly as before. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Sorry, I nearly went to a murder. <laughs> this is one hell of an obstacle course. <laughs> Where's my butler? <laughs> that was fucking overkill. Use two missiles on that door. <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to penetrate it with the gravel beam, dude. I know it makes sense. Here, come here. Get in yeah, of me. <laughs> grab it to me. You ever wanted a Shozo power upgrade, but it was all the way over there? <laughs> I see, Sam I see this happening to Samus when she gets disillusioned with her life. She just ends up using her tools for mundane shit. <laughs> Eek A glorified Eek Ultra Claw. Essentially. Yeah. Uh, now we're going to head up towards... To Yeah, to war. No, I said war. Wah -wah. Oh, okay. I, I didn't even... I want a Wawa cup of coffee. Wanna go? <laughs> <laughs> Where? <laughs> the closest one is the Erie. I'm not walking there. Bus. And I'm waiting for the bus for a cup have... of coffee. Oh shit, I wasn't supposed to freeze you there. Why, Samus? Why, Samus? Why? <laughs> there you go. Looks like a flying space turtle. Why? Why did you set me on fire, SpongeBob? The only I thought it was like the gun that only works when you fire it up your nose. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Well, look at you. Did you see that? I was I was stuck in my spinning animation. I saw it. That's what made me laugh. <laughs> then you looked like you were getting jumbled up. Trunch, 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 trunch. <laughs> that was actually pretty fucking cool. Yeah, more power bombs. Jesus. Power that... bombs are pretty powerful. They bet. They better be. Well, I know. I know. They're calling oh, Savage is gonna jackknife Mother Brain. <laughs> They're called power bombs for a reason. That was it. I would like to see that now, and just in like one, one off, Savage is giving Mother Brain a jackknife. <laughs> well, we, we made that joke in Brain Scratch when it was against Ridley instead. <laughs> that would have been a satisfying end to other M. Just, just power bomb Ridley. They just cut the credits. I wouldn't care. <laughs> Be a more satisfying ending than in Deadpool. Oh come on! Ouch! <laughs> Yeah, because, you know... You That's got the world's worst toll system for that thing. I think the spikes out of everything are the most dumbfounding. It's like, why aren't the spikes working? Did you plug it in? <laughs> oh, shit. All right, I'm going to turn off the ice beam for this. All right. Because this boss coming up... This is Fantoon. Fantoon? Yeah. When you hit him with a charged ice beam, spazer, wave combination, he disappears, prolonging the boss fight to unnecessarily long degrees. Phantom is awesome. Fantoon sounds kind of cartoony. Fantoon is a cartoon. He's almost speed dead. run. Fuck you. He's almost dead. It's not a speed run, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take it forever. To he's die, turning though. to a tomato. I do have reserve tanks on standby. He's ready to die though. Like he's like glowing red. He's blush. He's easy. He's, he's, he's a. He's a, he's a very bashful. <laughs> yeah, he's fella. very bashful ghost. There you go. Now he's dead. Yeah, but you see, sometimes he just like to immediately appear like that, and then you have to shoot him. For what he's worth, then. Alien designs are weird. That thing has an eyeball in its teeth. Do you think it ever bit itself? <laughs> Those are the things I don't really think about, but that's why I'm glad to have you here, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> These are the thoughts that kept me out of the really good schools. <laughs> hey, look at that. The power's back on. Yay! Oh no! <laughs> yeah, you're just not gonna meet with sentience. <laughs> but yeah, actually, yeah, you're right. Same concept. Is it? Is it the same? Do, 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 the do, bottom do. of those spike platforms take a tank. Ugh, fuck. Yeah. I found that out the hard way in a test playthrough because I was pretty much in the same situation as I am now. For confident. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're not fucking lying, man. Hubers. So what are you aiming for now? Is an upgrade? I am getting an energy tank. How much you need an energy tank? Because Samus is like fucking crying here or... She's crying so much, her, she can't even see out her visor. <laughs> <laughs> breathe, Samus, breathe. Alright, so now we're underwater. This is this is painful. I know, I fucking hate looking at this. Your controls are really unruly underwater. St 
Still faster than Mega Man Legends, too. <laughs> All right, well, explain that to me. Like You well, go at two frames per fucking second. Oh, Jesus. I have no idea if I am exaggerating. Because you move... Oh, you're dead. Reserve tank. <laughs> you move at an abysmally slow pace underwater. I'm talking fucking sluggish. Uh. It, it, it dips in frame rate like Sonic Boom. <laughs> Damn. That bad, huh? Actually, worse than Sonic Boom. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking shit the bed We're talking frame rate. Downtown. <laughs> now, there's a missile tank up there. You're supposed to ride these little platforms up here, these moving things. You know, Fuck freeze that. them with the ice beam. But if you place a uh, diagonal shine spark, uh, you can get it via that way. Thank you, Samus, for all you've done. <laughs> <laughs> Two Samus. What whoa, the fuck? Whoa! <laughs> Shit! Thumbnail. And goodbye. <laughs> what? What happened it's, there? It's the after image of the shine spark. Oh, okay. Thumbnail. That is totally a thumbnail. <laughs> but, you know, I'm going to be, uh, to be perfectly honest here. Uh, I did not 100% Super Metroid the first time via x-ray scoping everything. I had a map from Nintendo Power. Oh. Uh, okay. You know, because you know, I love Super Metroid, but the idea of stopping everywhere to see if this can be bombed or if this can be missiled okay. is kind of arduous. It's arduous and just thrilling to the tain hairs. Yeah. So we got the various you have tain suit. hairs? You should get that checked out. <laughs> I'm pretty sure everyone has tain hairs. <laughs> New suit, hair. gravity suit. What do you think it does with that name? Uh, aside from aside from removing any sort of resistance in the water, just cures Samus's over tain hair problem. <laughs> <laughs> she should get that. Check it took her braces off. <laughs> <laughs> now she has those pearly whites that she no longer has to be embarrassed about. Nifty shine sparking here. Snifty. Snifty. I like that word. Snifty. Shine sparking. Snifty. Ah! <laughs> To heaven! <laughs> Sam is reminding me of the Luigi gif I saw in Smash Brothers. <laughs> there we go. Okay, nice. that actually really is fucking cool. Nice. Jesus. Cool. Okay, I take back. That was really fucking cool. You just blow out your fucking health in the process, though. <laughs> you get an energy save, though. Back. That probably added five minutes to my in-game timer, but I don't care. <laughs> totally <laughs> did. Ouch! What's up with the lava making an appearance out of nowhere again? Uh, that is not lava. It's acid. So what's up with the lava? It, it's, it's orange juice. <laughs> fucked up looking orange juice, man. Cho's armor is built to last, and who are you? It's a chocobo. It's a goddamn chocobo! Faster than you, homie. You jerk! <laughs> did you just dissipate it? Because where the fuck to go? No, the bird. That bird teaches you how to shine spark. Oh, all right. Well then, that's that's not really nice use of the uh, flora and fauna of the game to teach the player. Oh really? Ow! <laughs> <laughs> you jerk! <laughs> that's uh, so nice. Are you? Verbal <laughs> tick. Okay. Well, I am just racking in the health today. If health was money, you'd be loaded. <laughs> For a game, anyway, then I lose it all by the next one. Or by a really bad gambling addiction. <laughs> How do you bet energy tanks? Russian roulette. I bet you my life force. Russian roulette. Yeah. In space. Well, that's cheating, though. <laughs> <laughs> because if she, she, if she's the unlucky uh, recipient of the bullet... She's only gonna take a bit of damage. Yeah, that's how you get. But she wants to fight another Russian roulette. Wow! <laughs> this shit rice itself. Don't do drugs, kids. Oh, this is gonna be close. Okay, good. Got nice. It. Nice. Yeah, you need the shine spark in order to get to that. So, because those uh, that missile is blocked by speed blocks. Ow! <laughs> My. <laughs> I'm falling all the way down. No! <laughs> oh, well, I have to jump back up. No. Yeah, it's not like she's actually rewinding her TiVo. <laughs> oh, great. My three Ridleys. <laughs> oh, Mocktroids! Mocktroids. Nope. Mocktroids. Mock Mock they are failed Metroid recreations. So, what's the difference between a Mocktroid and a Metroid? Do they attack differently? They're not really good at sucking your health out. They can, but it takes them a really long time. <laughs> But now these are merely the children, and we're gonna fight the mama. This is Dragon. 
Ah! Now, there are two strategies to this. Legitimate strategies, anyway. Dragon Alley. That's an Angiris roar? Yes, the, the armadillo one with the spikes on its back. Meanwhile, Johnny gets her tape. Johnny gets Samus's tape painted. And die. And that's all it takes. That's just... the grappling beam strategy. You're supposed to aim for the stomach. Right. You can use super missiles, charge beam, all that stuff, but that takes forever. You can use the grappling beam strategy, which is quicker, but it also hurts you. You also murdered some baby's mother, you asshole. It'd be fine. The planet will blow up anyway. They'll be all be together soon. All right. Space jail. Well, that's really fucking depressing. <laughs> <laughs> three seconds. Three Pink! seconds. Three seconds. Three seconds. Our beam does nothing. Oh Missiles, shit! Nothing. Super? Nothing. They're good. If only we had a plasma beam. There we go. Which temporarily turns the lights on. A popsicle beam. Click. <laughs> Click. Oh, I'm sorry. Unclick. Click. <laughs> TURN ON THE GODDAMN LIGHT! <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> so what's the thing with the plasma beam? Plasma beam can go through enemies. Q. Which you're gonna want. Yes. Which is the weakness of these guys. And they're just like, SHIT! You know, if only Ridley placed them in the beginning of the game. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna need you to shut up right there, Johnny. <laughs> is that really talking to me? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we are heading into Ridley. Well, the Ridley part of it. That would have been one fantastic voyage. <laughs> Please don't tell me how we're getting inside. Or how we're getting out. Yeah. <laughs> Could have fooled me there, Mr. Professional. <laughs> Jozo. Eh, six out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> six out of ten. Too much purple. It's a Morph Ball Evaluator. Too much purple. Not enough Sunny D. <laughs> I can go for some Sunny D. <laughs> the only Good person I know that likes Sunny D, Elliot. I'm the only one, yes. They make Sunny D expe exp explicitly for Elliot. <laughs> you know what I haven't had? Capri Sun. <laughs> Is that an accolade for Sunny D? Well, Elliot likes it. <laughs> this is a fake floor, so you want to space jump over that. Is uh, there another boss? Hey! Uh, this asshole again. Golden Terizo. A hell of a lot more of Full a challenge. <laughs> a goal, a more of a challenge, not by much. Yeah, I gotta tell you, he's a lot harder. I'm, oof. He really is harder. In Bizarro World. <laughs> that is an exploit. Because, um... I did in a test playthrough, his uh, front foot doesn't have a hitbox. <laughs> so you, Samus can stand under it and not get hurt. Oh. Damn. You didn't get those How about power? another iconic power-up? Screw attack. The screw attack. It lives on in map. Screw attack, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, they just ripped that off. <laughs> really, it's like, ouch! Ow! Oh, I was sleeping! Ah, you ruined the surprise! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's time for Ridley. And, you know, Ridley... Is pretty easy. Yeah, pretty easy, but his damage output can catch you off guard. Right. So, try not to take too many hits, because, look, I think he just took, like, 50... I think 40. he takes 50 hits. No, he, he takes 50 units of health per hit. Nah, see, 40, or... Oh, wait, then you were at 68, that's 40. C40 is more is more powerful than a C4. Almost thirty. Oh, he's just in the middle of playing poker stick. Shit, I'm sorry. <laughs> really is like really the most really. You know how many? <sighs> Never mind. It's like a, it's a it's a space parallel of Mario and Bowser. What so do you Samus, mean? Human versus dinosaur. Space pterodactyl, man. Space pterodactyl. <laughs> Space dinosaur pterodactyl. Hey, that's a hell of a lot more badass sound than this dinosaur. <laughs> it really is. Who leads pirates? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. On the planet, mo on the moon. That sounds like a twelve-year-old's character development. It's like Ryan from fucking <laughs> Revengeance. And then Sabus faced the space pterodactyl. <laughs> <laughs> twelve-year-old sound like that? Yeah. Hey, my this twelve-year-old sounds terrible. <laughs> okay, this, I think he's ready to grab me. me. Come on, grab me, grab Th me. This is me, and this is Seth Green. Grab we're, me already! I know you're ready to die. We're married. I think he knows that, so he's trying not trying to avoid that. He's self-aware. I know you're about to die. There you go. Thank you. I was getting the try. I was trying to get him to grab me because if he grabs me, he'll play his death animation sooner. All right. Um, but you know, he just wanted to be. He a died dick in one. bits and pieces again. You mean really? not a dick one. Oh shit. Oh. Hey, health! 
<laughs> On the lighter side of news, I got more health. Every cloud has a silver lining. <laughs> yeah, what are you, the Fox Network? <laughs> the show's already canceled, man. Stop. What? They have a show that got canceled too early. Which show? Firefly. Never even heard of it. I don't boy. Well, according to people, it's a really good show that got canceled too early. The X-ray scope, the thing that no one uses. Well, nobody, when you have experience like I do, don't use it anymore. But I'll show it off once. Ooh. What? Now see, now see if you go through people's clothing. What? Cancer. <laughs> <laughs> Peek. Yeah, X-ray scope is what you can use to discover blocks and hidden passageways. If you don't mind scoping the entire game over again, yeah, because you can't comb. move while using the X-ray scope. I thought you did. When you turn around, well, you can turn around, but you can't move. What's down there? Just a hole? Yeah, just a pit. Darkness. Yeah, darkness. <laughs> <laughs> and here we got the four boss jewels. And I could finally take some downtime to drink. And so the Infinity Gauntlet was now in progress to be made. Kraid, Fantoon, Dragon, Ridley, all defeated. There's a, speci there's a specific shrine for these four to be here. It's like a security checkpoint. Huh. Okay, they're dead. Okay, guys, when this statue grows dim, <laughs> she's coming. Who's Ridley looked very sad. What's going on? <laughs> Metroids. <laughs> Metroids. Hey, I was in the middle of talking. Sucking you dry, dude. <laughs> He'll let you go. I will make him let go. Okay, you want the whole family to be here? Fine, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Three power bombs is enough to kill a Metroid. I won't let that happen again. <laughs> 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 no, I'll put the power bombs to some sort of use. If I don't know, they're just collecting more of them. Yeah. Well, using one missile is prone to five. Think about it, man. There's got to be some mean fumes coming out of those missiles for the when they're going from left to right. Unless the super missile uses a stronger propulsion. Uh, repulsor rays? No, propulsion. Like stronger fuel. What was I thinking? <laughs> I will use the grapple beam to kill something, damn it. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna use it for something. Die! I think it's already dead. <sighs> Damn it. Oh. That's the uh, Terizon, right? That's a, that was a Terizo. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, a Super Metroid! <laughs> Thank you and good night! Roll credits. <laughs> Damn it, Matt. No, get away! Stop it! Stop it! That <laughs> tastes like son of a. Oh god, it doesn't Is that yours? I hate cinnamon. Oh, this doesn't taste like jello. Yes, Matt, that is the baby Metroid. What a hell of a growth spurt. Well, it's not a baby anymore. <laughs> Wait, little well Ro no, I think mentally Wait. it still is a baby. Wait, little Romeo? Now he's just Romeo. But the baby Metroid is the reason why Metroids are back in Torian. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Oh, the space Paris. pirates, this is all, you know, manual sort of shit. Uh, the space pirates exposed the baby Metroid to gamma rays or beta rays, to uh, oh, forcing it, beta max. forcing it to hit <laughs> the next player. It's so retro. Uh, forcing the baby Metroid to split. It's like the brain. How are you alive again? The brain of mother. Good question. Maybe she didn't fully die the first time. I repeat, how did you fucking survive? <laughs> For all we know, you could be just jamming a bunch of darts in her head. <laughs> it, that's still a long dart going into the so, brain, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and we killed the brain of mother. Do, 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 What? Stop ramming it. Stop <laughs> it, John. Jesus. Oh, what? What? It says you. <laughs> so, mother brain is actually a terror. is actually a Tyrannosaurus. Yes. It kind of reminded me. It kind of reminded me of um, uh, Bette Midler for a minute, though. <laughs> what? <laughs> Bette Midler. It was nice to see you again, Samus. What? How do you like my new body? <laughs> it came fresh in the mail. I'm sorry. Well, surely you must be the son of God. <laughs> I am so confused right now. That's okay. I'm sorry, Elliot. <laughs> <laughs>
Am I making you guys feel old right now? No. Well, it, Cow Chan is beyond our time. And Cyrus oh. gets her <laughs> shit wrecked as blown from your missiles, too. Mother Brain too. presses the staples easy button. I can't move. Actually, let's go help me. No, it doesn't do anything. Grappling beam! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Baby, the grappling beam was gonna work. <laughs> Thank you, sweetheart. Oh, boy, this is gonna take time. I'm not gonna ask, but, uh, keep going. <laughs> it's a child's love. Yeah. Oh, shit. No. Hey, leave my baby alone. It's spitting on him. <laughs> what, a, what an asshole. Yeah, seriously, what a jerk off. The Metroid sounds like Mothra. That roar? Yes. Okay. Oh, mommy pissed. Oh, shit. Hyper Samus. <laughs> the we went straight up. The music is the music is out of mourning rather than actual action. Yeah. Well, the music just goes like, "All right, you done fucked up now." Now you have the to. The baby die. Metroid. Where's the baby? Um. You got a few minutes. That. I got the milk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm finished with those errands. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Let's get the hell out of here. Matt, really? <laughs> Splot. <laughs> there, there they are. Oh, that's where everybody is. Fly free, my friends. I can only assume you have a spaceship. <laughs> <laughs> they do. What? Somehow. How the hell else do they escape the planet? <laughs> they fly off it. <laughs> I have to go now. My planet needs me. No, my planet's is blowing up. Yeah. I have to go now. <laughs> this planet doesn't need me anymore. <laughs> and that's it. Away nice. we go. We did it. You don't no, really did it. Yet. I need to see that completion rate. That is one hell of a self-destruct sequence. Yes. God damn. You know, just to refresh the memory of people that don't are not familiar with Metroid, when you killed Mother Brain in Metroid 1... The base only exploded. You know, self-destructing a base, that makes sense. But no, she rigged the entire fucking planet to explode. Should Samus win again? Unless the Saiyans already blew it up. Look on the there they go. Unless the Saiyans blew it up on their way to planet Earth. <laughs> <laughs> the operation was completed successfully. Clear time? 140. Nice. nice. Not bad. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Completion rate coming up. Samus takes off her armor if you beat the game under three hours. In game right. time. Yeah. Which I made and then some. I'm happy about that. Oh shit! Ow, my eyes. <laughs> yeah. Better. Seriously. Please be a hundred. Please be a hundred. Yes! Nice! My jaw lives to talk another <laughs> game. <laughs> See you then, Space See Cowboy. See you next mission, ladies and gentlemen. The next time we meet in the Metroid universe, we'll be doing Metroid Fusion for the Game Boy Advance. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're back in the Metroid universe with the sequel. The sequel eight years in the making. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, it's Metroid Fusion for the Game Boy Advance. This was released on the Woo! same day as Metroid Prime. Like, I think that's going to be the next game I do for this channel. It, it, let that soak in for a bit. And I, I may have mentioned this a few times, but there was a time in our lives where we got two Metroid games released on the same day. <laughs> That's what makes up for this drought. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the drought it's like, hey, we released like, two of them already. It's like, we know you didn't get two Met We know you're going to get Metroid games in a long time. Here's two of them. And they end up being really good games. But when it comes to playing a game really fast, actually, I prefer F Fusion over Super Metroid in that regard because Fusion. Uh, it's more decided to keep things more streamlined and more linear for uh, story because this game also has like for the first time in the series a uh, he much heavier emphasis on story. Yeah, uh, and just to cover that because I'm gonna keep myself under control here, but a nasty habit that I get into, especially for Let's Play sake, is that I I speed through the text a lot <laughs> because I've I've seen it all the time. You know? Yeah, I it, it's it's just a force of habit to click past it, and then you you kind of get into your mindset. Of, you have to get into that mindset of oh wait. Other people are supposed to be seeing this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be just now, as guilty um, of that. 
So anyway, let's talk about what's going on here. Uh, so you know, there after, are nice men in big white suits to take Super her away. Red Troid, and uh, Samus was in the middle of an expedition. It looked like on she was revisiting planet SR388. That was the Metroid home world. We eradicated every single Metroid on that planet. All 39 of them. <laughs> she destroyed a creature, and then a gelatinous parasite came out of it and infested her suit. Oh, look, Nickelodeon slime. So on the way back to the BSL station, she fell unconscious and drifted into an asteroid belt. Luckily, her escape pod jettisoned off of her gunship. Uh, rest in peace, uh, gunship. Yeah. And the research station was able to pick her back up. Unfortunately, the parasites in her nervous system started taking over an extreme right, so she was given minimum chance for survival. Luckily, someone developed a cure. Thank fucking God. So what, she had space aids? Y- you know what? It might as well have been space aids. <laughs> But thanks to uh, a cell culture someone saved from the baby Metroid and Super Metroid, they were able to engineer a cure for the parasite infestation because it turns out that the Metroids were the natural predators of the ex-parasites. She goes to explain that there are organic components of her power suit. I guess it's like it had like one-to-one reaction to what, how her mind works. Very so It's like a second skin, really. Uh, the X parasites infested those organic components and it embedded into her nervous system. So they couldn't take out those parts of the suit normally. They had to be surgically removed. The suit we're wearing now, which is called the fusion suit, I think are supposed to be the remains of the inner layer of the power suit. Uh, but yeah, so we have a new suit. We're completely stripped of all of our powers. Hey, look, you know, a logical in-game explanation as to why yeah, we start as bare. as opposed to just, this time. you know, just, we just don't have it anymore. Yeah, you know, between Metroid 1 and 2, I just somehow lost my six energy tanks. With, with Metroid Prime, Prime, Samus just hit a wall really hard. Yeah, yeah. I, and you know what's funny? I, I at least appreciate that they, again, they came up with an excuse for it. Because you had a bunch of that stuff at first, and then you run into the wall and everything gets it's like playing, It's like playing Symphony of the Night. You got, you got your cool yeah. shit, and then you lose your cool shit. Nope. We, we need a game where you're in a room for so long, and then they don't give you permission to use a certain item, but then they give you permission to use it when you're about to die in that certain room. Oh, wait, that's Other M. Uh, other Co- M. Technically speaking, Samus is now part Metroid. So that's that's two things. She's part she's part bird and part Metroid. Because she also has Chozo blood inside her. So yeah, I'd imagine we're going to be making tons of references to Other M during this playthrough. Folks, None of them because, positive. Because this game... Sorry, I don't play shit. This game planted the seeds of Other M, for better or worse. That computer reminds me of a Gruff Federation CEO I served under Adam Malkovich. He was always a drone. He called me Lady on missions of anyone else. It would have sounded sarcastic or misogynistic, but Adam made it sound dignified. Out of some respect and a hint of irony, I named the computer after him. Whoa, our first boss battle? Basically, when you get the red one, something's about to go down. Yeah. <laughs> Something's about to go down, or that enemy is supposed to be a pain in the ass, according to the developers. Is that Ninja Turtle? Oh, for fuck's sake. I really hate when Arachnus does that. That's completely random. So, wait, who is this? Now I got no, uh, Arachnus. And now Not it's really. almost dead. Now, now it's almost dead. So, usually, I hate when it rolls into a ball because it's random when it does that, and I'm wasting a missile hitting its shell, which bounces off, which means I don't have any missiles to take care of the Core X rapidly. So, you're so going to have to shoot them out. I got to waste time getting. Uh, ammunition drops from the core x so if you run out of you can only destroy core x's with missiles if you run out of missiles you have to shoot the core x with the beans to get it to drop green parasites so basically it's like a glue suit sort of yeah i, I would see it as something like that like she gets like a breastplate sticks it on there yeah halfway there <laughs> <laughs> you gotta start with the helmet yeah <laughs> well you know, according oh, to other m she here can, we go she, she can actually summon the suit at will that's, like the I power remember, suit is embedded into her uh, suit. My creep- mind being blown when I first saw this. One of the creepiest right Metroid, here. Metroid enemies ever in the in the series. Yeah, this is the SAX. This, sax. So sexy. So, the saxophone. The thing about the X parasites is not only do they infest your nervous system and pretty much kill you from the inside, they can mimic you. They copy whoever they uh, infect. So in the case with Samus, you know, the parasite investing your power suit. Uh, a clone of her was created, and there it was right there. That is the SAX. <laughs> it's not a hover. You lost me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what? Yeah, I was Somewhere just paying attention to John shooting that particular <laughs> Somewhere weak Somewhere along the way, kill. I lost me too. So that was the second type of Core X. Every time you kill a boss, uh, their true form is revealed as a Core X. Because, you know, spoiler warning, every enemy in this game <laughs> is an X parasite of some form. Um, when you kill a boss... The core X is revealed, but there are two varieties of core X. One is just one you can just shoot with missiles all you know all nonchalant without having to worry about it. Mm-hmm. Others are beam core X's. You have to wait until their eye is exposed to shoot their uh, exterior. 
Uh, but, you know, there's really not much different besides that. I mean, Beam Core actually can shoot a beam at you if they stare at you for too long. Uh, but other than that, it's just playing more of a waiting game. But uh, we killed the fake Chozo Bird statue. It was much more <laughs> a cock tease that there ever was one. Yeah, in seriously. <laughs> why, was that, why would that be here on this yeah. planet? You know, Fusion is very user-friendly, I would say. Yeah. And often people tell me, uh, what Metroid game would you recommend that I get started in? And I always say Fusion or Zero Mission. Not uh, Super? If you no, because I Super Met, Super Metroid is a Metroid fans Metroid. Game. Yeah, that's the way I classify it as. The same with Prime, only in 3D. Uh, security doors are not marked on the map, so. Sir, security reasons. The locked doors aren't noted on a map. No. What the fuck? You know, so it, they're they're trying to uh, uh, respect the old Metroid style by you know not telling you exactly where to go. You have to look for the security room yourself. And Except that they extremely limit where you can even go yeah, based yes. on your because weapons. So every other kind of, pathway is blocked by the you're doors kind you can't of open. Railroaded yet. into one direction anyway. Yeah, so you're you're still railroaded no matter what. What the hell? There's a lot of familiar faces here in this game, and I think that was done on purpose. Meanwhile, the kitchen is losing its goddamn mind behind us. What the fuck is that? I don't know. Anyway, so we got a what the live fuck is organic this? jumping condom here. Oh, it's a, it's uh, a cockatrice. Yeah, <laughs> minus the trees. Anyway, so it's, I think it's, this it's thing adorable. Is, I think this thing is it's, called Sazabi. It admittedly is adorable. Elliot is right. This it's is the cutest space horror I've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> so it jumps really high up in the air. You know, I wonder what kind of upgrade I'm going to get from this thing. Which is, you know, I, there's is nothing <laughs> I love about Fusion is that it's it's storytelling through its gameplay. Yeah. You know, all of the enemies that you fight are using the upgrade you're going to get from it at some point. Yeah. You know, Ar Arachnus rolled into a ball, so we got Morph Ball. This thing jumps really high into the air, so we're going to get high jump boots. Oh, uh, thanks for the spoiler. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I, my Man. apologies. My apologies. <laughs> Maybe it's a space Senior jump. Gregorio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seriously, dude. What's with the spoilers? <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> the spoiler words. The computer is Adam. <laughs> As if the other M jabs weren't fucking obvious enough. Spoiler warning. Samus is a woman. Yeah. Oh. High jump and jump ball. See, jump ball was just, jump ball was still hidden. Yeah. Uh, jump ball. Well, I mean, you, you jump. <laughs> Wait, no. Well, that was actually a separate power up in yeah. Super Metroid. Yeah, that was the spring uh, ball. Metroid Two actually was the Metroid first Two was the first time with the spring ball. Spring ball, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's the Nister. Samus, watch out! The NSR. The Sax has invaded Sector Four. We right. need you down there. So, Why? <laughs> yeah, so unfortunately, because we released a security hatch, a level one security hatch, we've invited every single X parasite to go past level security doors themselves. So what now, fuck. now Sector 4 is being invest infested with X-Parasites. The Galactic Federation is sending us updates via, you know, data channels and shit. We have to download them. Unfortunately, some of them, because they, they, don't, they decide not to just give me all the upgrades in one data room, they send me to different data rooms and I gotta unlock security doors to get, you know, to gain access to all that. But at the same time we do that, we're giving, you know, free passage of the X-Parasites to infest more stations. We say this, though, and that is, you know, spoiler warning, jumping the gun in, that is kind of what they're doing. They are deliberately not giving us a lot of power-ups at once, because if you notice, a lot of the power-ups we've gotten so far, we've retrieved from X-Parasites. Yeah. All right, uh, I can climb that ladder, or I can just take some pot damage from the electric water and climb up here. Christ, you think Adam's bad? You just do it of your own volition. <laughs> See, I'm doing your favor. We're gonna swim on through electric water. <laughs> <laughs> and then you'll, I don't know. It's like standing in a fryer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's boss battle time. Whoa. We got Saris here. Saris? Saris. Police girl from Helsing? It looks like, a, it looks like Rahab from the uh, Castlevania series. Rahab. Ow. All right, you motherfucker. I'm going to point blank you, and you're going to like it. So it's pretty much a sea monster. Wait a minute, was it shine sparking? It was shine sparking. Good eye, Matt. That's exactly what it's doing. I wonder what kind of power-up we're going to get here. What I was trying to do there was I was trying to get two point blank shots. It is possible to two-shot Saris. And I actually did that in my live stream of the game <laughs> uh, two weeks ago. Looks I was like you just did it there. I, I three-shot at him. Because close enough. If you were to leave this to just float around, would it ever would it ever morph back into the boss? No, it does not do that. Okay. That would be some shit if it did. I it time, it's like, you know. okay, you got the core, but now you have a time limit yeah. until it goes back. Well, yeah, there's a lot of yeah, games. It would make sense for it to do that. Yeah, yeah, for the the weakness itself is, you know, the body would sort of lay there and it's got some time to go back in. I think Zelda does a lot of that. Yeah, like, yeah, that would totally make sense for the game to do that. Okay. <laughs> I want a statue right. of that. I want a statue of her in that pose with the flying forward. 
Oh, uh, like a like a first four figure or something like yeah, that. Yeah, something like, like in, that. In the middle oh, of a shine man. spark animation. Yeah, Damn. I'd buy that in a heartbeat. I'd buy that for a really overpriced. <laughs> <game>. <laughs> really over, <laughs> way over a dollar. Yeah. <laughs> buy that for a dollar. I like how the power bombs became like the de facto super item to get other I'm like why is this so fucking they important? They give you 74 fucking power bombs in this game. 74? That is the most in any Metroid game ever. That's most like, in, in, in every Metroid combined yeah. probably. <laughs> That's such a weird number though. 74? 74. Yeah, 10 more than 74. 64. It's like 74, 76 around there. Either way too fucking much. You never ever have to use 74 power bombs. Um, again, I'm going to say it again. Fusion, I fucking love to death. Yeah. I can play this game with my eyes closed, and then I'll die after the first room. <laughs> is that what happened during the live stream? Yeah, no. I believe that um, <laughs> Fusion is actually the only Metroid game I've actually beaten. Yes. Next really? to Zero Mission. Oh, so, you know uh, okay. You know, I was going to say, Zero Mission is a great Let's put it play. this way. You know who else beat this? Mark. Yeah. Mark never plays what I play. <laughs> but he played Fusion and beat in Fusion. You fuck! Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it is a desert. <laughs> so, and then you took the speed booster from it, so it's trying to get it back. So, a security but robot here, a box. It's, yeah, the revisions is this box. I don't know what that's supposed to stand for. Uh, you can only hit him in the center of the um, the units. Uh, so, it's actually a pretty standard boss. I mean, what I'm doing here is the go-to right uh, to beat him without speed running the fucking thing. If I was speed running, this guy would be dead. He has a brain. Over. Yeah, he has a neural network in his, you know, central system. It's a bioweapon. Yeah. Oh, so I, I know what's getting infested by the parasite later. <laughs> yeah, because right now, we don't know that thing is infested by an ex-parasite. We just assume it went rogue. <laughs> Damn AIs. Whoa. Unfortunately, some parasites from Sector 5, the cold region, have uh, migrated to Sector 6. And since we are still very vulnerable to cold temperatures, blue parasites, for the time being, are a huge no-no. And I did not want to shoot that one. There you go. And so you can't seem to kill them either. No. But it stuns only, them. You can only stun them. Ah! Ah, where are you come from? Oh, I'm in hell! <laughs> hell has indeed frozen over and it's dark. You have five hell packs. Hell is deathly cold. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you have five packs of winter fresh there. <laughs> there we go. We got there winter go. fresh winter in there. Winter fresh. There we go. It's so icy cool. Oh, but they give me an energy tank. Oh, you got some ecstasy. Cool. Just to, yeah. <laughs> Don't do drugs. <laughs> ecstasy are blue pills. <laughs> There Thankfully now, because we got super missiles and a charge. Hey, you dick! That's my various suit! Neener, neener, neener. <laughs> oh, I'm making my cannon at you. <laughs> I don't have arms and legs, but yeah. I'm wearing your suit. <laughs> but, uh... Whoa. Oh. Ah. Giant germ? Yeah. Looks to be the case. So the Core X hasn't, you know, absorbed our various suit, and it got really big as a result. I don't know what the correlation is. Uh, uh It's very big. Yeah. <laughs> it's a very a big, yeah. <laughs> uh, two sizes too small. Yeah. <laughs> Uncle, I grow to hate you more and more, but I can't. <laughs> hey, I need you to I kinda need you to, you know, stay still now. I think it's dead. Maybe. No. Nah, yeah, there it is. Oh, there it okay, is. yeah. Alright, so it uh the, the big core X in that state is only vulnerable to charge beam. Huh. And then when it shrinks back down, missiles. Well then. Oops. <laughs> uh so Anyway, you know the standard procedure here. Let it roam around a bit, then give it a missile. Uh, one more Actually, do. it's pretty close to a sweet spot. Yeah. Uh, well, not really. Sweet. Yeah. So, yeah you can't spell sweet spot, but that's sweet. Now you got your effect. Now, well, you have the effect recover, but not the suit? No, not the suit itself. Yeah, we just got the effect recover, but it changes our suit to a very garish fucking yellow. Oh, God. That I looks hate like a thermal image. I hate various suits. Yeah, Greg's you know right. What? You look like you're you, you looked like a thermal, thermal image. Yeah, that, is very, that is very true. I never really made that correlation until now, but you know what? It's still fucking ugly. I hate various <laughs> suit in this game because it just doesn't look pleasant. Yeah, where, yeah. Where, you know, if you're, if you're looking at uh, real life pilots, they would have the flight suit where the flight suit is sort of a, a medium between them and the plane. Yeah. So I always took the zero suit as something like that. Hmm. Because she doesn't need the zero suit. We've seen her in many, many swimsuits throughout yeah, the years. It was something that was retroactively introduced. Yeah, the zero the suit was later. Because, you know, Metroid 1, Metroid 2, Metroid 3, when she took her suit off, it wasn't a zero suit. It was a bikini or a, a sports bra. Uh, but one thing I'm glad that, starting with Super Metroid, they really emphasized was that, you know, to be a space warrior of her caliber... You gotta be packing some sort of physique. Yeah. And in Super Metroid, she's toned. Yeah. Like, she has definitive mus muscle. She has features. five abs. Yeah. So uh, uh -oh. something fucked up. You gotta go back to Sector Three. Someone's messing with the main boiler room. 
Oh, uh, motherfucker. The that janitor's guy. gone rogue. Yes. <laughs> oh, man. We shouldn't have. Well, who was that guy we made janitor? The one that won <laughs> good game design? <laughs> oh, we shouldn't have made him the janitor. Now he's going to blow up the whole space station, and we only got six minutes to get there. And that's what we get for not listening. Yeah. <laughs> All that time wasted on that fucking, you know, jump that I did earlier. Hey, you dick! <laughs> Oh, oh shit! Oh, okay. Whoa! Yeah, Korax took the form of a human. But that's pretty cool. No, no. It's, that's the thing, though, because those those purple zombies that we ran into earlier used to be human hosts, and then they disintegrated or like you know mutated. They took it. over the parasite. Took over the human, and then left the ghoul in its rake. Yeah. Oh, that was a very triumphant Korax. I'll say what the <laughs> fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sorry about that. My phone triggered. It's on silent, but something else triggered. No. Uh, it was like a Twitter message. <laughs> well, it's very triumph of Twitter. Very complex. So if anything, it's no different than what I'm doing already. You know, in, in previous games, Metroid hunting down Met uh, uh, Samus. Hu Metroid hunting down Metroids. The Samus. Metroid hunting, hunting down, Metroid down Metroids. Metroid. <laughs> Samus hunting Hashtag down. Hashtag stop the violence. You know, ha uh, uh, Samus hunting down Metroids. I'm part Metroid now, and now I got a Samus clone. Coming after. Well, me. that's probably what it is. If yeah. if the if the original suit had some sort of a uh, uh, bio link to you, there might be some some element of you in there. So, the instinct that the SAS is running on is kill Metroids. Okay, we got our power bombs. We're done with Sector Five. We don't need to be here anymore, except for that thing that's flying oh, in the background. I don't know what that is. Hopefully, it's an uh, it's a friendly. Oh, I'm sure it, it is. Uh, you run into so many friendly creatures in these areas. Yeah. Uh, Metroid is known for friendly creatures. <laughs> this, this shadowy juggernaut in the back, yeah. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> just another one of uh, one of the Itakun's, uh, you know, bunk buddies. Bunk uh, buddies. That's, that's Fly. Just one it's of down there. We, got, we have runnies and jumpies, and now we have flies. Matt, the door to the left there is the door I'm going to be going through, and a different means, actually, and that will be during Sector 5 cleanup. Yeah, you've been up since, like, 9 p.m., yeah. Yeah. Holy shit. Uh, so... You know, I'm doing my best here. I'm making pretty comfortable timing, you know? Uh, oh, thank you. Oh, that was close. All right, hold on. Uh -oh. I need to listen closely here. Okay, so that was uh, Yakuza. This is the name of the boss, is Yakuza, yeah. The Japanese oh, mob? Right. After a Japanese mob. Oh, no, get off me. You're oh, it looks like you're going to be out your other hand. So this is okay. So this is what the Japanese mob really is. A I wonder if they're untouchable. This is the mob <laughs> boss. It's a giant spider. <laughs> this is the mob boss. I like it. <laughs> All seventy-eight million of the members. <laughs> so anyway, what I did there earlier was that you know Yakuza always starts the battle off by being on the very top of the screen, shooting three fireballs at you. Thing is though, is that its mouth is technically open while doing that. Yes. Uh, so you can aim oh, a few missiles at it and get a free pre uh, get a few preemptive shots on it, making the boss battle a lot easier. Uh, but this thing is really, you know, space jumping all over G the place. Giving you the work. Yes. Yeah. I wonder what you're going to get. <laughs> the snake vomiter. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. The snake uh, vomiter. Yet, yet another new weapon. Yeah. <laughs> Which you can use because you have mongoose DNA now. <laughs> <laughs> I like that a lot. Mongoose DNA? Yeah. <laughs> How often do you dream about having mongoose DNA, John? About two times a day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Once per oh, playthrough. I keep living. Uh, space jump. Okay, that makes sense. It was space jumping all over the place. Cool. It's kind of really weird when a fucking head is space jumping all. So we got auxiliary power uh, activated. Beat which, it. Uh, save <laughs> rooms are <laughs> back online, but we still have to activate the main power. Hey, how oh, you doing? Whoa. Okay, I'm gonna get the hell out of here. Shit. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm gonna activate you, and I'm gonna freeze you until the power bomb goes off, and now I'm gonna run like a bat out of hell. And then get the hell. Ah! Ow. Okay. Oh, good. You ran yeah, like a bat out of hell, all right. That was some serious damage. We're at full this... health. Okay, there we go. It's gone. Wow. The Batman Woo. can't hurt me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> the yeah. Batman or the Batman? Yeah. The... <laughs> yeah, John, can, can I actually do that? Like, every time SAX comes up, Careless Whispers playing? <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, we're at Poison Ivy's place. Are you just allergic? I, I, you know what, Matt? I'll get back to you. All. It's that allergy season. <laughs> So anyway, <laughs> what we have it. here, this is the source of the vegetation, and it, it, I didn't get what it was for the longest time, but it's a actually, statue? it's a Chozo statue. Yeah. Um, well, more like, I think it's supposed to be a Torizo statue. Uh, those were the ones that act, you know, you know, turned on, I guess, for lack yeah, of a better yeah, word, yeah. in Super Metroid when you got the bomb upgrade and the, uh, what was the other uh, one? The, the one before screw the screw attack. attack. Oh, yeah. yeah. 
With, yeah, with the screw attack. Um, when you couldn't shoot it with anything but it's like, plasma it's, like, it's like a false idol. Oh, you know, I love that, though, that, that Torizo in Super Metroid, because if you try to shoot it with a super missile, it catches, it catches that fucking it and, oh, shit. <laughs> and tosses it back at you. No! If if not outright dodging it, because sometimes... You know, no, it dodged regular missiles. Yeah. But it would catch super missiles. It would missiles. catch the super missiles. Yeah. Magic. So... Can you say your uh, so, breaking authorization? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Authorize this. It's starting to sound like Walker from Danny Phantom. <laughs> Getting a certain beam without my permission? That's against the rules. <laughs> sounds more like, pilot. That's sounds pilot. more like Walker, Texas Ranger to yeah. me. <laughs> well, well, just gets round kicked. Yeah, if we got a Walker, Texas Ranger upgrade, it better be a roundhouse kick, and it better cause detonations on site. I was about to wonder why you just didn't go down to the right, but then I saw the like, yeah, thing. Yeah. You, you're in the ship, and then you select, no, you can't continue until you press yes to save, because you haven't saved uh, yet. All right, so that's this juggernaut. Looks like that something out of a bad dream. Yeah, this, oh, yeah, this is a, what a nightmare. He needs more souls. So the thing about nightmare is that generator right there can mm -hmm. manipulate gravity. Oh my! If you just if you try to shoot missiles while he's warping gravity, they go right back down. Oh so god, he's crying Nickelodeon. You slime. have to. <laughs> yeah, look, he didn't know. I couldn't say a lot of things on television. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm crying slime. Maybe he this said sucks. Uh. Maybe he said too much on television. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! Uh. Oh god, nightmare. So we destroyed the gravity generator, and now it's true faces revealed. Oh, look at this shift. slowdown. Ch pump that shit. Yeah, you can know how you can. T We're playing this on the Wii U Virtual Console, by the way, which is a really glorified emulator. Yeah. And you can tell this is emulated because there, you know, this game lags on a lot of points, but more so on an emulator because they never really got emulation right affected with uh, Metroid Fusion in particular because there are a lot of times where the sound may lag in like boss fights, and you can play it on the Game Boy Advance and you don't hear that at all. Yeah. Now, did it? Did the Game Boy player? For the GameCube, did that do you know any what? better? I have to go back and check that out. It's been a very long time since I played Fusion on Game Boy Player. Because uh, I know that did alter it altered some of the graphics. It smoothed it? out a lot of the a lot of the lines, especially on the older TVs. Yeah, it smoothed out a lot of the lines, and it made every. Uh, I know Final Fantasy Tactics. I played on TV. Uh, now Tactics you can move Advanced. freely on water. And it may Tactics have to do Advanced with was them. very beautiful. It may on have the Game to do Boy with player. it perfectly replicating the GBA's native resolution. Uh, because if we're talking in terms of like graphic quality, I would still say Fusion looks the best on a Game Boy Advance. <laughs> that sounds like a euphemism for something. It That's does. what I was thinking. Because like you said, box, box. Say, <laughs> like, oh, you guys hooked up last night? Yep. Gave her one in the TV, one in the back of the box. <laughs> <laughs> Two for the yeah, pink. Now I got I, I don't know exactly what you did last night, but I don't want to hear any more about it. So instead of saying two for the pink, one for the stink. Two for the coaxial, one two. for the HDMI. Two, two for the coax, one in the HDMI. Perfect. I like it. Thank you. <laughs> Christ, now I gotta backtrack to that it's area. because you're talking. Oh, oh no, Chris. Let, uh, yes. let me get my diffusion uh, missiles first. We'll be back. No, 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 no. This, it's oh, right here. I see. <laughs> Metroid diffusion. <laughs> All right. I like it. This, that was very clever. The thing is, is that it, uh, in that um, in that vertical corridor, you know, my gut instinct tells me to go to the hi uh, si secret passage where the power bombs are, but that's Ooh. going uh, down the corridor. So my instinct is not to immediately go back up. Yeah, I just walk past that thing, by the way. <laughs> uh, He's out to play. He is not fucking around this time. Nope. No, he's really not. But I'm also like not doing this the right way. You see, the thing about it, the, the thing about ladders is really fickle. Is that sometimes I can get away by just holding up. I don't know. Why didn't? Why did he do that? Oh, usually he bounces on the wall and then he like bounces back, and that puts me in a position where I can just fucking unload missiles on him. But he's giving me really strange beh uh, behavior this time. You're blowing your loads too low. Yeah, you see, right there, he jumped right. He never does that before. He always like. He There's only so many times you get your ass kicked before you yeah. learn. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to do this the other it's way. It's like it's self-aware. Um, it doesn't take much missiles to get back to the core X, because this fight is considerably more dangerous. I'll say you're almost yeah. dead. Um, okay, my positioning is just fucking terrible. Okay, let me... At the risk of being a really fucking boring Let's Player, <laughs> let me actually concentrate on this fight, because I'm actually really close to dying here. Yeah, yeah this is a shock. Yeah. And it's, <laughs> been a, it's been a while since he saved. Yeah, it has been a really long time since I saved. All right, sorry about that, guys. Let me uh... create restore point. You should do that, actually. Yeah. 
I'm really good at debating restore it. Restore point. Make yeah. the restore <laughs> point. John, you, you're going to have to. Make the restore point, please. Just to be safe. John. <laughs> so yeah. we don't fucking go through John, all this shit twice. Please, just do it. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Okay. You have not voted but, through to one. Yeah. I'll play it safe for Let's Play safe. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. And the parts that I don't like, yeah, we're gonna add it out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that right there never happened. Wow, I can't remember the last time I died in fusion. Like if it happens, you know. I can't. There we go. Okay, there we go. Better safe than sorry, I guess. But uh, yeah. Oh, well, this thing can still hurt you though, so you know, don't sleep just yet. Yeah, you're not. This thing will shoot a beam every time yeah, you shoot it. When you hit it, it shoots a beam. Yeah. How much damage does that do? Probably, I don't know. I don't want to 93. Find out. <laughs> I don't want to. 93. <laughs> <laughs> it does 93. Yeah, wave, wave beam. beam. Do the wave. Oh, whoa. So I'm going to head to the, the to the right is a missile expansion that's blocked by a security corridor with the lock inside the fucking thing. Yeah. In most of the other games, you got the whoa. wave beam first. Metroid's in here. Oh, okay. Nice. Title <laughs> drop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? Oh, look, this is regular. That's uh. Uh, alpha, alpha, like alpha, gamma, gamma, beta, beta. Uh, no, there were betas. Uh, zeta, zetas. There were zeta Metroids. It's like a Metroid uh -oh. smorgasbord. Something's happened. And here, I was thinking it was just a name. What's going on? I don't know. Somebody's here. What's going on, Jim? <laughs> I'll get it. I'll get it. Oh, 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 oh. shit! You. <laughs> it doesn't seem to be paying attention to us. No, it's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. Yeah, it's like, attacking uh, Metroids. Get off of me. Sixty seconds. That's almost one minute! Hey, it's a good thing the Metroids are really... You know, these are really friendly Metroids, though. They don't give any shits about me at all. Well, that's because you're part Metroid no, now. No, because you're part yeah. Metroid. Yeah. It, that's exactly it. I'm part Metroid. Friend. She has a gun. That's why I want a gun. It's got a, it's got a <laughs> and brain... And there goes part of Angel Island. It's got a brain slug on its head. <laughs> it has a, it has a see, weird, it has a weird thing for a face. Did you ever see that picture? Yeah, the brain of slug. Samus with the brain slug, but it's yeah. a Metroid. <laughs> wait, so, that, wait. Look at the bottom part. What? That was like the top of Link's head, upside down. What are you talking about? Yeah, you're right, it does. Oh, yeah, look at that. It actually does. It looks like Link's head upside down. Oh, the thing glowing. Yeah. Yeah, you're right about that. Yeah, that is kind of weird. That's very weird. <laughs> Stay tuned to our Link's Awakening Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so uh, we weren't supposed to be there. Because, uh, well, first off, we didn't, we weren't authorized uh, to Ooh, activate security. A sexual division. Yeah. Oh, I think I mispronounced that word, though. <laughs> We weren't we weren't authorized to unlock security level four doors. No, of course not. Uh, but we kind of had to in order to get out of the area we were in. I wonder so, if this is actually now starting to foreshadow how much aggro how much foreshadowing to a past game. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Maybe all of this disobedience is why she's not in Federation Force. Yeah, that's why a, a, a nice a nice fusilli oh. gun. Uh oh, with the side of espresso bomb. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Jesus! Ah, uh, here comes the noise. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Bring the noise. Bring okay. the noise. <laughs> oh, God, please. I can't take it anymore. You know, it's a shame. I love this fight. Yeah, I do, too. I, that noise drives me nuts, and at the same time, it's it it's pumps you up to kill him. I remember the first time I ran into this fight. Because, actually, my first experience with Fusion was Emulator. Oh, time for the spearmint. Uh, my first experience with Fusion was an Emulator in 2002, because I didn't have uh, money. I didn't have money for an actual game at the moment. <laughs> Uh, yeah, high school. <laughs> so, uh, you know, getting to this part of the game, you know, Ridley comes back, you know, he's gargantuan, the sprite is massively detailed. Love yes. the yeah. And they bring back the Ridley thing from Super Metroid. And I was like, oh, fuck, yeah, this is great. And but then God, like, it's hurting my ears. <laughs> it's like, shut up, Ridley. That's why, that, that's to pump you up to kill him. Just bring, yeah. back, bring back needs, the original sound. This oh, but it's so over. nostalgic. <laughs> They brought back everything else, so you would think the original sound would come back. Yeah, uh, so th the name of that is actually is Ridley X. It's Makes the only sense. enemy in the game that has X in its name. You know, well, there's the SAX. Yeah, the uh, screw attack. attack. Yeah. <laughs> the screw attack X. Screw attack. Uh, the, screw the, attack X. the screw attacks. X. The screw attacks. Yeah, so we got the screw attack ability back from Ridley. So uh, what's next? That is the last mandatory upgrade. So cool. now it's, in, ladies and gentlemen, we're, Clean at, up. we're at cleanup now. Yeah. At this point, you could go to the end of the game if you wanted to, if you're pretty confident about well, here's your the strength. Well, here's the thing. The next time we go to a navigation room, we are locked into the end game part. Yep. Oh, yeah, shit. So we avoid. can't go back to any of the sectors. So avoid navigation rooms in the meantime. The thing is, is that that requires us to be a little more finesse with a one particular powerbomb expansion. We're not going to get it the way they wanted me to get it. 
they probably figure they have which they only got after yet. sacrificing how many people to get that yeah i know but it doesn't matter it's for the sake of science they're going to do as much as they want to get results <laughs> so they probably have oodles of the metroid vaccine right now ready to be administered at any point should an x parasite come close to them and if it's anything like Samus, if they get the Metroid vaccine administered to them, that means they can probably absorb X parasites too. And it there might, you go. It might even be a thing where you have to get injected to work with the X parasites. Yeah. It's like you want to go out the X parasite. Okay, you're going to need your mandatory Metroid vaccine mm-hmm. injection, you know? We inject you with Mantis venom. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a Portal 2 reference? Portal 2. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we, the good well, if we news do is have something for you, we, uh, an army of, giant an army mantis, of men. mantis men. <laughs> <laughs> J.K. Simmons made that fucking game. Oh, yeah. man. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so this is the, the big twist. It turns out that the AI we've been talking to, the one that Sam has named Adam, because the, the, the blank stoic computer reminded him of the blank stoic man. The Coleco. Yeah. It turns out to be Adam itself. Like I say it's up because it's a computer, it's not a man. Or just learn Adam's behaviors and react accordingly. Yeah, that's a good point. To too. manipulate yeah. her. Yeah, to manipulate her. Right. That's a good point. What an asshole! Oh shit, Sa- Sax. Yeah, here yeah. we go. Sax is here. Now we can finally fight the thing because we have a weapon that's able to penetrate armor. You know, and this ain't, to mention, you this got ain't the health. shit. Yeah, the thing is, is that, you know, they the computer advises that you can't really fight the thing until you get, like, plasma beam or something like that, because you can't hope to penetrate that armor with uh, missiles. So we finally get it, and yeah, it's right, I mean, we're <laughs> wrecking this shit up. Oh, it's starting to glitch out. Yeah. <laughs> He's spazzing out. Oh, there he goes. Delicious comeuppance. Yeah, so look at this thing. Oh, boy. Look, look at what it mutates into. Whoa. And if you were actually paying attention to it, you know... Yeah, good. I two shot at it. Um, nice, nice. You remember in the beginning of the game when Samus first encountered the X parasite? Yeah. What monster did it come out of? The small hopping thing. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. That parasite went inside Samus, and when it became the SAX, and I mutated it, it became a combination of Samus and the first creature it, it hosted. Huh. Wow. Again, a nice little detail that you really don't really pay attention to, but it's still nice to think about. Did I hit that? Yeah, I don't. Did you? Yeah, I did. Okay, I counted. Dindins. Oh my! Oh! 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 <laughs> uh, what a dick! Now they become self-aware. <laughs> what shit time? <laughs> it took the last one to finally realize I could just leave. Yeah. <laughs> and fuck this. <laughs> Toodle you. Oh, oh tits! Oh, oh, razor shit. Oh, hello. Whoa! That's an Omega Metroid from Metroid it is. Two. Oh! Damn! <laughs> That's wow. a big Omega Metroid from Metroid Two. Wreck your shit yeah. like in Metroid Two. <laughs> The sounds it makes, though. This is really weird, though, because, you know, if you recall in Metroid 2, Omega Metroids were vulnerable by the back for missiles. This Omega Metroid was engineered by the research station. So now this it, one could be here right in front. It got no, it, it got rid of its immunity to missiles outright. Hmm. But its vulnerability to ice has been increased tenfold. There we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, now we got our now ice real. beam back. Now you're fully powered. Yeah. <laughs> now I got the power. Nintendo power, bitches. <laughs> You got the touch. Anyway, so this is supposed to be like the big climactic fight. It's not supposed to be that much of a problem because, you know, you're pretty much done the game already. That yeah. said, I mean, if you're not going 100%. Yeah, you could get here with half the health that you have right now. In yeah. In which case. Be careful. Yeah. Because Omega Metroid Swipe does a tank each. Ugh. And, oh, if you're doing like a 1% run where you don't have any energy tanks, one hit Beware. you go. You don't, yes. you don't get hit. Sorry, I just wanted to, you know, <laughs> enjoy your ice power. Accelerate the explosion. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to trash this place. Yeah, and then blame it on the planet. <laughs> and then blow that up, too. <laughs> Fuck this place. I think you just did. Yeah, you did. That's the, That was the plan. The plan you, was... With a small space station, you blew up the I entire planet. I don't get how it works, because we triggered the self-destruct sequence for the BSL station. And then, by causing it to collide with SR-388, we not only caused BSL to explode, but the entire planet. You cause a geothermal reaction, which blows up the planet from its core. I, it's but, the basis of half of the supervillains yeah. <laughs> in the 1960s. I, I recall the great Lex Luthor saying, <laughs> if you can do this, this will happen. Was to drill a hole into the center of the Earth and insert a nuclear device, which yeah. would cause a chain reaction that blows Assuming, up the Assuming you know, the station doesn't explode upon impact on the planet. So now, ba- that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> so basically, the military minds love James Bond movies. Yeah. 
That explains all the gadgets they give you. Also explains why your rope, why your AI kept locking you in this bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> but in the end, the human soul will ever reach for the truth. Well, how do we get all this just from what we did? So you know what? That last that last mission I did where I blew up the space station really made me think about life. Um, it's one thing I'm learning to try to not do, you know. But uh, yeah, maybe there's a reason why I have Elliot and Matt on today. <laughs> Okay, she's go. stripped right, naked. She that's a hundred. The armor right. that no, no, that's under two hours. Oh. Yeah, I missed an item. What item did I miss? Uh, because this is not the um, this is not the one hundred percent under two hours ending. What is it? Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I knew yeah. something was missing. <laughs> what did what I miss? I could have sworn you got. When you grabbed the power it bomb, was a it power said 70, bomb. but I thought you had already used two. It was No, yeah. but I went to a recharge room. No, that's what it was. When I got the recharge uh, and it was at 70, I was like, something's wrong. I'm missing a power bomb. <laughs> well... That about wraps it up, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching. You have yourselves a fantastic night, and you take care. <laughs>